Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to explain how to solve uh, problems that involve pedigree, analyzing pedigree and today example would be of the family with uh, genetic disorder. This is X-link uh, recessive genetic disorder that is color blindness and uh, it is caused by recessive allele on the X chromosome. If you wish you can pause uh, this video and try to answer this questions and those of you who don't know how to answer these questions you just may follow my explanation. And uh, when we have genetic disorder that is X-link uh, we may have in females following genotypes. So female can be phenotypically and genotypically normal. So pink color would stand for the normal allele on the normal X chromosome and red color would stand for the defective allele on the uh, so defective X chromosome. So this is going to be the second possible genotype of the female and that is going to be heterozygous and this is third possible genotype in female. And as you understand this red color stands for the recessive genetic disorder. That means that this heterozygous genotype phenotypically would be the same as homozygous dominant. So these two genotypes would stand for the normal phenotype. And this genotype here would stand for the affected phenotype. And males may have two genotypes and two phenotypes. One would be normal X chromosome and Y chromosome that defines the maleness. And another genotype would be one defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. So this means normal phenotype and this genotypes means affected phenotype. So this information would be enough actually for you to answer all these questions. And question A, how do you determine the genotype of the mother at three? So this is mother three. This is her husband and this is their children. And uh, as you see, the genotype of number four person, this is male and this male is affected. So his genotype have to be one defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And phenotype of this person is visible, but genotype we don't know yet. It can be heterozygous or homozygous dominant. Let's analyze the progeny. And as you see, they have affected son. So son's genotype have to be one defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome, just like his father genotype. But can he get this defective X chromosome from his father? Let's do a simple Punnett square. So genotype of the father would be on top. So one defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And let's assume that his mother would be homozygous dominant, would have two normal X chromosomes. So when we build a Punnett square, we can predict uh, the frequencies of the genotypes and phenotypes and sexes in their progeny. So their daughters, all of them would be heterozygous and that means they would be carriers. So would be phenotypically normal, but would be carriers. And 100% of their sons would be uh, phenotypically and as you see genotypically normal. So would belong to this genotype and phenotype. And uh, as you see it is impossible for genotypically normal mother to have affected son. So let's assume that mother's genotype would be heterozygous. So this allele, this X chromosome would be defective. So now as you see 50% of their daughters also would be affected with this genetic disorder, so would belong to this genotype, would be affected, and 50% of their sons also 
would be affected with this genetic disorder, but 50% of the daughters would be uh, those carriers, but phenotypically normal, and 50% of the male progeny also would be phenotypically and genotypically normal. So that's how we uh, have found uh, the genotype of the mother that is going to be heterozygous. And if uh, the mother would be homozygous, she would express this genetic disorder. But as you see on the pedigree, her phenotype is shown as normal. So we have answered this question. And question B, number eight, was colorblind just like his father? Where did uh, the son at eight get his allele for color blindness? And we also just answered this question. And we can move to question C. Neither number one nor two were colorblind. How did they have a colorblind son? Six. So we are going to use the same uh, pedigree, just uh, that we used in order to solve uh, this problem here. By the way, let's uh, put genotypes for all uh, progeny of this couple. So genotype uh, of this daughter, we can say for sure that all daughters who shows a normal phenotype would be heterozygous. So both these daughters would be heterozygous. So one allele would be defective or one chromosome, another would be normal. And this daughter also would be heterozygous. So one allele would be defective, another normal. And genotype of their son also would be one normal X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. So now we can answer question C. We have here two phenotypically normal parents, but parents have affected son. Can this male be uh, heterozygous? No, because in this case he would be affected with this genetic disorder just like this parent for here. That means that a genotype of the male parent would be normal X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And a genotype of the mother have to be heterozygous because the son have to get this defective allele from one of the parents. And because he cannot get it from his father, he have to get it from his mother. But his mother is uh, phenotypically normal. That means she is carrier. She is not affected. She doesn't have this genotype. She doesn't have normal genotype for both alleles. She have to be heterozygous. So now we know genotype of both parents and of course their son would be affected. So would have one uh, defective X chromosome and one normal Y chromosome. And uh, what the genotypes would be of his sisters. Of course sisters would get one normal X chromosome from their father. There is no way that uh, their father can give any other chromosome, X chromosome. Father has only one X chromosome. So both of them should have at least one normal X chromosome. And their mother would have 50% uh, chances to give them defective X chromosome or normal X chromosome. And we don't know for sure because both these genotypes would produce normal phenotype. So we use X normal chromosome and blank space. X normal chromosome and blank space. They can be homozygous dominant or they can be carriers or heterozygous. So uh, we answered question C and question D. What must be the genotypes of the parents of the colorblind daughter? And on the pedigree, we see only one colorblind uh, female here. So that means that her genotype have to be XX defective chromosomes. So both chromosomes have to be defective. So this is uh, her parents and her, uh, as you see, father, of course, 
would give one defective X chromosome. This would be, uh, we can say, his fault on his part. But another defective X chromosome would be from the mother side. So we can say for sure that mother would be heterozygous. One normal X chromosome and one defective X chromosome. So next question, question E. If uh, number 13 marries a normal man, what is the probability that their sons will be colorblind? But before I will answer this question, let us finish uh, our pedigree. And as you see, this family has a male who is affected, and that means that his genotype only can be defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And this male is phenotypically normal, so the only one variant of his genotype would be one normal X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And this female is phenotypically normal, but her mother carries one defective X chromosome, one normal X chromosome, and father carries one defective X chromosome. So, because her phenotype is normal, and she got one of the uh, defective X chromosome from her father, and we 100% sure about this, so genotype of the father here, genotype of the mother here, and she is normal, so she obligate carrier. So her genotype would be one defective X chromosome from the father side and one normal X chromosome from the mother side. And now uh, let's consider this female who is uh, going to be homozygous recessive. Let's make a new pedigree. So we have homozygous recessive female and male whom she marries would be phenotypically and genotypically normal and when we build a Punnett square we can predict the frequencies, genotypes and phenotypes in their progeny. So as you see females going to be heterozygous and phenotypically would be normal because they would get one defective allele from mother side but one normal allele, one normal X chromosome from the father side. And as for the males, 100% of the male progeny would have this genetic disorder or would be colorblind. So 100% of the male progeny would be affected and 100% of the female progeny, those going to be carriers, 100% phenotypically would be normal. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.